everybody, it's your favorite robotics, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Robosin Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime, or maybe it's from uh, Rise of the Beast. Anyway, the Bayverse, Bumblebee verse, Optimus Prime. This is on loan to me from Robert D., who I think has a bit of regrets in ordering this, just because I think he uh, maybe had a few cocktails one night and um, made some irresponsible decisions. I could be wrong about that, too. But at any rate, those irresponsible decisions led to one more irresponsible decision, which was sending it to me to review, which I plan on doing, and I plan on doing for you guys. But in order to do it, I have to first show you accessories. So he comes with a display stand. We have Transformers Rise of the Beast pad printed on, looks good, and uh, answers our question from the introduction, doesn't it? Then we have, it's made up of two pieces. This piece actually screws into the bottom, uh, and, and it comes with the screws as well. I don't feel like I need to show them, but it does come with them. Uh, the way that this works is there's a release button on the back. Let's see if I can get this in focus. There's a release button on the back here. Can you see that? Hope so. When you press that, that will allow you to collapse it. It pulls out on its own, so to speak. Then you have this top one here. There's a button here. That allows you to manipulate this. When you release it, it locks it in place. And then when you have it inserted, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second, to release it from Optimus Prime, you have to click this button, and that'll bring in that tab there and allow you to get him off the stand. Um, and then this just inserts here and screws in. And uh, uh, let me move on to the next part of it. Then to utilize it, underneath his crotch area is a insert piece that you just pull out. And then, sorry if you can't see that, you insert that. And then you, you have it in the stand. And you just adjust this as need be to kind of get the job done. But wait, there's more. You can also take this piece. It's a little plastic uh, case says RoboSend on it. It has an Autobot symbol. You can insert it into the front here. Uh, I'm not going to do it because... Um, Honestly, <clears throat> I just don't want to have to deal with getting it unstuck. But once that's done, they also give you a commemorative gold coin. Uh, it has the Autobot symbol on one side. It has Optimus on the other. It says Transformers on it. You can use whichever you'd like. And you can just sit that in there and then have a nice little display package going on with that. Should you so desire. So I believe this is a first, but he comes with a wide array of hands. He comes with a two finger pointing hand, left and right holding hand, left and right trigger hands, left and right relaxed hands, left and right outreaching hands, and that's in addition to the two fist hands that you saw in the opening footage. They're all painted beautifully. Um, it's a flat black with a heavy silver dry brush on top. Works fantastic. He comes with an ax. Uh, it's painted silver, two different shades, like a lighter silver and then a gunmetal silver with the kind of light blue painted inside and then a heavy dry brush on top. Um, looks good enough to me. In order for him to hold it, just remove the bottom of the ax. The fingers are a softer plastic. Insert the ax and then put the hilt back on. He comes with a big old mama said knock you out gun. It is painted with the gunmetal and then lightly dry brushed with the silver. Looks fantastic. And he'll hold that with his trigger finger hand just fine. He comes with two of these swords. We have the red paint uh, that matches up with the, the armor. And then we have the silver kind of weathering. Gunmetal, light blue accents, silver speckling effect, which is new and nice. And then we have the light silver dry brush over top. To utilize these... You line this up, and it's best to have the trigger finger hand, but there is a T-shaped wedge there, and then a groove. And then if I could get that off, I'll just show you real quick. This is his right. Of course, I grabbed the wrong one. All right, and then we insert. And it's stuck on, you know, and you have the trigger finger hand theoretically on the other side. You also have two hilts. And they match the hilt down here, so it seems like the blade should pull out and then reconnect. But I can't get it to move, so I'm not going to move it. But that's the only thing I can come up with. It's covered in the instructions, but the instructions don't do a very good job with their diagrams of showing you how to do anything. And rest assured, it comes with a box full of charging supplies and stuff too, so you don't need to worry about that. 
And this whole thing is kind of a gimmick, but even still, you can open up his chest and the Matrix is inside, should you so desire. So before we get him going, I just want to talk about like the deco and materials and stuff. The materials feel good. They feel on par with everything that we've seen from Robeson thus far. The deco is amazing. Everything is painted. The silver has black speckling for a weathering effect that really is effective. It works well. A lot of the red has fading from red to a darker red, which once again gives a weathering effect and looks good. We have pad printing paint in certain spots with the Autobot symbols or the triangles, what have you. Some translucent plastics down here. Uh, the lights and stuff in the eyes you'll see here in a minute, but like the mask is all fully sculpted and everything. All of that looks good. I feel like this is their best paint job ever. We have a lot of like silver uh, scratch marks and stuff. Some of it's a little excessive. Some of it's a little repetitive. You know, like <clears throat> certain scratches just kind of look the same. Uh, but outside of that, uh, it's really, really, really well done. Now to get him started before we get there, um, you have to sync him to your uh, phone or whatever like you have to like get a bluetooth go connection going and you got to download the app etc cetera, etc cetera. and then you hold this button for five seconds the power button is here on his back greetings friend i am optimus prime right and then hey optimus greetings he recognizes his commands and stuff attack time is running out Battle. Now I have the axe in the wrong hand. I've already done like a lot of the stuff with him, so you'll see that here in a bit. The battle is won, but the war is far from over. So let's go through some of the Bluetooth commands. All right, so once again, you got to get the app right. <clears throat> And then the app has different screens and so forth to kind of utilize actions, Bluetooth control, action programming. Let's go to actions. Uh, what am I doing? Team up and roar out. All right, are you ready? Let's drop this down just to taste. Let's go to attack. Time is running out. Prepare for battle. Uh, should I put the gun in that hand, apparently? <laughs> the battle is won, but the war is far from over. All right, let's do a few more. On my home world, we believe that the battle with darkness will continue to all are won. If we are to die, then we will die fighting all as one. Defense. Defense mode. Autobots, evasive maneuvers. Take cover. Fire. Fire now. Yeah. 
They're really smooth movements. Stand down, team up. Stand down, team up and roar out. On my home world, we believe that the battle with darkness will continue till all are one. If we are to die, then we will die fighting all as one. So pretty cool. All right, let's start with the positives. All right, final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. The instructions are really poor on this for what it's worth. It's still, they still haven't figured out a way to pose the figure when it's turned off that can display in any sort of meaningful way. Unless you can kind of get the gears to sit just right. And I wouldn't be entirely comfortable relying on the gears to kind of hold those positions. I would be concerned about the wear and tear. There's some stuff it seems like they're kind of new to, like the toy element of it. There's some tolerances that are a little off, like just getting the, the handles, the bottom of the handle of the axe off so you can slide it in the hand and then put it back on, stuff like that. Of course, I couldn't even get the sword out if that's how it even works. Hard to tell from the instructions, but I think it is. And I personally am not crazy about the Bluetooth thing. Like, I, I don't want another thing to have to, like, do in order to interact with it, but I do like that you can use the voice commands. It's just the, the Bluetooth thing, I guess, is extra. But, you know, it's nice for those that want it and those are super techy and into that kind of stuff, so I don't know. I'm forgiving of that, too, I guess. Speaking of forgiving, let's move into the positive. I think that what they're doing robot wise is just incredible. I think it's really inspiring. I think it's fun. I think it's rewarding. It's joyful. You know, it's, it's like a good way to describe it. I like that they're including a lot more accessories. I hope to see that trend continue. A magnificent paint job, beautiful sculpt. This to me seems a little bit more okay at its price point, even though it doesn't transform because there's just more going on with it. Unlike the Bumblebee that just seems like a blocky childish toy that doesn't transform. This actually seems like something a bit more sophisticated and thus like I think it's a it's an easier pill to swallow so if you're into this you're into this design and you want something fun and all that kind of stuff that kind of matches this and that you're into the robotic side of it and all I can recommend it if you're not and you're kind of like me and you think it's cool try to find a friend that has one that you can enjoy thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care